Well, hello everyone and welcome to a new series called Artists About Artists. And this is sponsored by Susan Ely Fine Art in New York. I'm so excited to do this. I'm Chase Langford, I'm here in California and I am going to interview Kathy Osborne. A, a, I'm a big fan of hers. I love her paintings and this is so exciting. Kathy uh, is, um, she was an illustrator for many years, 25 years, and featured in, in major, major, really important publications like the Atlantic Monthly, Rolling Stone, the New Yorker, Washington Post, Chicago Tribune, New York Times, GQ, New York Magazine. I mean, really amazing. And then she transi transitioned into being a, a fine artist, and we're gonna talk to her about that. So welcome, Kathy. Uh, hi. Good to have you here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I I, uh, I know this is a little new for you, and it's it's kind of new for me as well. But anyway, uh, I just love your work. I uh, I just think it's fantastic. And um, you know, I saw your work. I saw images on the Susan Ely Fine Art website, not knowing your background and not knowing how you uh, created these images. And that was kind of good because there's something about your work that was so otherworldly and unique and special. I felt like I was, I was experiencing something very new and really intriguing. Do you want to uh, tell us a little bit about your work? Kind of all started with a dollhouse I saw at an antique store. Um, and I had to have it. I kept, they, and they, I was so, uh, anyway, I finally did buy it and I started taking photographs. And then I understood, I took a zillion photographs and then I understood Lori Simmons was doing this, had done it and was using the same doll. So I was like, I've still got to do this, but it's got to be, I've got to do it so that it's mine. And sure. Nobody else is doing it. Mm -hmm. So I started painting them. I started still taking photographs, but with an eye in mind of turning it into a painting. And um, so I use the photographs as reference. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of dollhouses and I don't give them up. I don't sell them. So there's room for new ones. Everyone says that's what I should do, but no, there's, you know, my dining room is now a dollhouse museum, really. And it's very, it's, it's not much different than when I was a child, just picking them up and moving them around and relationships would form uh -huh. just by, um, of how close they were standing together or what if somebody was facing away or it just seemed to the stories tell themselves so these all, figures, so the figures in your paintings there's you have kind of a narrative in your head about who they are and the relationships or is that what's going on a little bit well sometimes i bring it to them and sometimes they bring it to me uh -huh. sometimes i'll go i'm gonna you know, um, somebody spilt milk and somebody's cleaning it up. And so I'll set that up. Uh -huh. But sometimes I'll put somebody on the couch and I'll have something else in mind. And then there's something about the way she's looking at him. If I've got a woman and a man together and uh, she looks annoyed or she looks like he's interrupting. And so then I'll, I'll, I'll take it there. Mm. I'll let it be there. Yeah, oh, neat. So they kind of then drive the narrative. I, and I think what's neat is I think a, a lot of people look at your work and then they apply their own story. And you were talking about that when we were uh, previously. Yeah? Yeah, there was one of a, um, a woman that was uh, getting a, something out of the oven. You can't see what. He thought she was sticking her head in there, doing a Sylvia Plath thing. And uh, I was, he was like, he wanted to buy the painting because of that. He's like, oh, because she, you know, I was like, well, I got to tell you, I didn't have that in mind. She's just cooking. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, you go right, you go there. You, that's right. fine. <laughs> and uh, so, but somebody else bought the painting. Oh, ah, well, well, <laughs> then lucky them. Lucky them. Um, uh, I know that uh, Susan Ely Fine Art has sold quite a few of yours, and uh, I can understand why. They just are absolute gems. Um, you know, why don't we dive in? Do you happen to have one that you might want to hold up and show us? Uh, yeah, yeah, here's one. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this one. Right. <laughs> uh, 
it's, um, I just, I, this is just a knockout in so many ways, the figures, the, the whole setting, it's so beautifully painted. I mean, you really, your, um, your craftsmanship, if you will, and your skill at painting is so beautifully, it's just that you have a beautiful touch with your brushwork. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm to look at it so I can refer to it if you have any questions. Yes, yes. So the fellow in the foreground is, is uh, he's, he's a bit contorted, you know, there's, a, there's like, uh, you can just read so much into it. And I think that that applies to a lot of your paintings. Um, that do you want to hold true. up? A, should we hold up another one? And, and uh, oh, okay. can I say a couple things about this? Oh, yes, please. I, yeah. This is one of the few times where the doll likeness shows and I didn't really want I didn't mean for that to happen because he uh -huh. he's very stiff and he's very, you know, it doesn't look, um, I gave him some anatomy. I gave him an elbow, you know, which he doesn't have. He's probably got a stick. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> um, so I gave him an elbow, you know, and, uh, but he, I, I mean for these things to be, um, you're looking at people, you're not looking at dolls. And yet you do want it to have, you want it to be disturbing. Um, you know, and why is this, you know, what, what, what's the matter with these people? Right, give it um, some edge. It's not just a sweet image. There's some undercurrent and uh, so forth, right? I right. think that's what makes them very exciting and potent, you know, is, is what you just said. I, I, I think that's very successful. This is one that she, the Susie, showed. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, does that apply to what's happening right now with everything yes. closed? Yes, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I um, I use this dollhouse a lot. It's actually a store. It was a lamp store, and I took all the lamps out. I took all the shelving out. Oh, neat. And um, so, because I love big windows, mm -hmm. and because I can do like a kind of a voyeur thing I do. And yeah, so it's I want- it's like a stage. Everything's a stage and there's layering and it's fantastic. Yeah. 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 And and even though I made the comment about it being now, this could this is a timeless image, right? It's a timeless uh, composition that uh, can be read. So many different things can be read into it. So well, yeah, and I, I, I look at the woman as being the owner of this <laughs> restaurant, right? Yeah. So it's about, you know, women, empowered women that are, um, you know, involved in the economy and successful and so forth. Maybe she's about to open or she closed for the night or whatever. And, and well, uh, she's owning it. She's going to open. Oh, she's she, going to open. Okay, come on in. We're about to, yeah. Well, maybe no, there's a, maybe there's some staff that are late and she's like, where are they? <laughs> she's got her arms crossed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit like, let's get going. So good for her. That's so yeah, beautiful. I have, I have to pin the arms down because they're doll arms. They don't want to behave. So I have to take a pin oh. and pin them so that they are a good reference for me. I, I love so hearing I about how you uh, kind of stage and prepare this physical, actually literally this physical setting for the painting. It's really exciting. And, and this is so insightful. Makes me, I mean, I already love the work, but it really adds to the experience. Yeah, I worry about taking the mystery away. Um, Gerhard well, Richter had a, the, there was a documentary about Ger Gerhard Richter and he, um, he said, I'd rather be in the hospital than have these cameras follow me around while I paint. <laughs> so this yeah, is, <laughs> yeah I, I, I hear that. And actually, that's why I'm glad I didn't know the story behind your paintings until I had a chance to see them and kind of take them in myself, you know? and then heard uh, how you sourced them and how you created them. So, um, but either way, it's great. I think people are gonna appreciate them. Uh, there's no doubt. Uh, do you, can we, can we do one more? Of course. Yeah, um, is there one you would choose? There's uh, Oh gosh, I, they're kind of small. Uh, well, is there one? I, I'm straining to see them from here. Okay, one is the one with the guy in the top. And yeah, sure. Yeah, because that's very different. Yes, that's that's a great choice. Okay. There we go. Boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again, the big windows, right? 
right. That's what I love. This is a tiny dollhouse. Those I have two sets of dolls. Uh -huh. Two different scales. These dolls are four inches high. Really tiny. Uh -huh. And um, they're just amazing dolls. I love them. Anyway, um, the, the, yeah, I got a boy everything going. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. I mean, my goodness, you know, it's it's peculiar the way she's outside that window. And I love these black, uh, these silhouetted trees, which are kind of foreboding. Uh, just marvelous, marvelous. What, what, what can you tell us about this? I have gnarly trees right out, one gnarly tree right outside my window. It's, I use it all the time. Yeah, I do want some drama. I do. Mm -hmm. I want, mm -hmm. you know. I, I do, I don't want it to be, I don't want sweet, hardly ever. I, I guess I, I, I think I did one sweet one. You know, um, but you know, you, you use often, I mean, uh, so often you have these kind of sweet colors and you're, you're, you're so, such a skilled painter that there's this, there's this elegance to the images. And then you create this undercurrent of this that's not sweet. And I think that's what makes them so successful is this juxtaposition of, of uh, execution with the, the narrative and the undertone of it. Just marvelous, just marvelous. Oh, so are you painting? Are are you uh, actively? Do you have some uh, more in the works? Are you? Um, uh, it's summer, yeah. a good time to paint, right? Yeah, you want to see one? Yes. Or oh not? yeah! Wow. One. Of, oh, this is this is a Susan Ely Fine Art exclusive. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I can't wait. Now, works in progress are always a little. Um, oh, see this? Oh, it's quite resolved. Oh wow. Yeah, it's done. Oh, oh, it's done. Yes, it looks done. That's why, yeah. Oh, it's oh okay. Oh, oh, you want one in progress. No, no, not necessarily. I, I just, this is just, I mean, that's up to you, but I'm now I'm, you got me kind of hooked on this one. Uh, and dr very dramatic lighting in this one, right? Yeah, it, yep. Oh, and it's the same it? dollhouse as the one with the restaurant. And oh. people start to come, they'll, they'll go, hey, didn't you already use that dollhouse? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, how fun. People are connecting the dots between the different paintings, kind of uh, recognizing the woman doll with the red shirt on. Often she has red on, right? And, yes, oh, yeah, you oh. got it. Yeah. I could show you a photograph that I use. Oh, yeah. This is the photograph I use. Oh. That's great. Okay. I, I, I think I think the what's great about the photo is even though you set it up, if you take a photo, now you have a fixed image that's constant because obviously if you're looking at 3D, you move and shift and the light changes, but that doesn't. So that's probably uh, why that's effective doing it that it way. It is. And, yeah. and I can't make this up. People thought, oh, is this a fantasy? I said, I can't make up this lighting. I, I have to see it. It's got to be, you know, Right. I mean, but then I, it, I've, I've done some fudging, but so little, so uh -huh. little fudging. Here, let me put this back. These are just great. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Well, Kathy, I've just thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, you are a, a, a delight. You're a, just a Brilliant artist. I just, oh, and here's the kitty cat. Can you pull her, uh, let's see her face. Can you lift her up a little bit more? There we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm starving him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, well, big hug to you. And thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this. It's, uh, you got me to clean up around here a little bit. Which, yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. Well, Bye for now and uh, all the best to you. All the best to you, thank you.